So let's go through the Amazon Alexa app and go through the privacy settings. So one of the things you need to do is that you're going to see that you can't find your privacy settings right away on your home of a Miss A app. So you're going to have to go to more. And once you go to more, you're going to go to settings. And then what next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Miss A privacy. When you go to Miss A privacy, it's going to take you to actual web page within the app. But then you can do a few things here with the Alexa privacy. So you can say review your voice history, view history of detected sounds, manage smart home devices history, manage skill permissions, and manage your Alexa data. So you got to understand that Miss A has a lot of information here and they are taking it consistently. And so the whole idea of this, this video here is to show you that you can have the goodness of Miss A and all the things that Miss A does and still protect your privacy because you should be able to maximize your use of Miss A and still be able to protect all the things that you need, your information. So let's do that. Let's go look at manage your Miss A data. So a few things I've already kind of set, but I'm just going to walk you through anyways. So when you go through here, you're going to have voice recordings, you're going to have smart home device history, you're going to have detected sounds, and you're going to have help improve. So now these are the four main things. Oh, I did it again. So here are the things that you need to do, think about here. Let's start with voice recordings. Now, you can delete what you just said to Miss A in a day or in a time period by saying, Miss A, please delete everything I said today, okay? I think that's a really good function for you to have. You should keep that so that you can just always ask Miss A whenever you need to, to delete whatever you said that day. To do it manually, you can also go through the recordings. And so when you go to how long you can save recordings that you can see right here, you can say, see that by default, actually it says, this is what it should show you by default. It should say save recordings until I delete them. Now, if you think about that, that's a long time. <laughs> hey, um, if you've never looked at these privacy settings, you probably have probably a year's worth or two years worth of recordings of you talking to Miss A. So if that's the case, you probably want to do either don't save or recordings for only three months. That's probably the best for you in this situation. So we're gonna just say confirm. So confirm. The next thing here is the smart home device history. And when you take a look at Miss Home's device history, now these are all the times where, you, where you're where you going to ask Miss A to turn on your lights or ask Miss A to um, check the thermostat or even when those transactions are happening, if you set up a routine or some sort of skill to set up at a certain time frame. Those are all the transactions that are happening between Miss A and your devices. So when you take a look at this here, you'll see, you go into it, it says, choose how long to save your device history. They give you the noting that this is gonna degrade your, your Miss A experience. But the thing is, is how long do you really think you need to have this setting? Again, this was the default, it was save history until I delete it. I can't imagine why you would not, ha why they have a setting for 18 months as opposed to like 24 months or one year. I mean, that's a lot of information. I guess maybe for Miss A, to predict what you want to do next in, in other routines like hunches and things like that. But in our situation here, I do recommend that you put it to three months because I think when you think about all the transactions that you should be doing with Miss A in, in a matter of three months, that should be good enough for Miss A to understand, to, uh, to figure out what you need and to make Miss A better. Okay, so I'm gonna go confirm. The next thing here we got, help improve Miss A. Now the use of voice recordings. They say that they review these recordings in their labs or whatever. I know there have been stories about using recordings and listening in on people. So let's just say for the sake of argument here, we could say use of voice recordings or you could say don't use voice recordings. And in my situation, I turned it off. Okay, so the other thing here is, is use messages to improve transcriptions. Well, here's the other thing too. So I basically have taken it off as you can see right here, okay? But there's one other thing. So we went through voice recording, smart vo um, home device history, detected sounds history, help improve Alex Miss A. All right, so let's just go one more thing. And we're gonna go back here to Miss A privacy. And all right, so when you go into review voice history, you'll see everything that Miss A is recorded from the day and for all your devices. And so if you have a number of devices, it's gonna show you everything that you've actually either talked to or so all the recordings. So in this situation, you can just say, you can either use your voice and ask Miss A to delete everything I said today, or you can go into here and you can say, 
delete all recordings from today. So let's just do it. So we did it. I feel free. Hope you feel free. And then you can also do history of detected sounds. For example, if you have Am uh, Amazon Guard or anything like that, or those type of, or detect, I should say, um, it can detect CO monitors, smoke alarms, all alarms in your house, breaking of glass, that kind of thing. And it can notify you. So if you need that, it's good to have. Otherwise, there's an option to delete it there as well. And then the skill permissions. Now this is really interesting. When you look at the skill permissions, look at the types of information that Miss A could actually give to your third party services and share with them. In some situations, most likely it is the email address that is affected by this. And then the email address actually um, can be shared with third party apps. For example, in, in Brian's case, his email goes straight to the smart dry, smart dry skill. So there's something or the app. So you should consider that and, and think that, hey, do you need to have that uh, email there? There's going to be some services where you're going to need it, but this is the opportunity for you. I wouldn't understand why a lot of apps would need your phone number, uh, mobile number to uh, access to for your or miss a profile. But there's something you need to think about, too. And of course, if there's information here where you've actually made a payment through Amazon Pay, but don't want to keep it in there, this is the opportunity or place where you can have that deleted right here. Listen, your privacy is important. And Miss A is really there to help you in terms of your smart home and all your devices. But Miss A and a lot of corporations are there also to collect your information. And they can do lots of things with your information, but mostly it is positive for the services they provide. We all know in situations that your data is the most one of the most important things to you on in the electronic world. And so this is the opportunity for you to use as much as you can with Miss A and still protect yourself in terms of your privacy. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, everybody. And remember, don't hate. Automate. You can watch our Alexa tutorials here on Automate Your Life.